Fifteen minutes later, my neighbor William noticed the smoke that was billowing over the hill that obscured our family homes. My wife Margaret was still out searching for the dairy cow. By the time he could respond, the roof had just collapsed, and baby Rose was found not ten feet from the veranda, screaming and covered in burns. More neighbors arrived, and yet all they could do was stand and watch as my entire home was consumed by flames. Only when the fires had subsided could they determine what had happened. They found the body of my eldest son, Colin, kneeling over the bed, fruitlessly attempting to shield his siblings. The authorities concluded that he managed to take baby Rose out of the house before racing back inside to save his brothers and sister. The heat and the collapsing roof had trapped them all inside. My wife was questioned about this the very next morning, and word had only just reached me in Mount Eliza 